Hey beautiful souls, it's your girl Avatia, and today we are talking all about how I went from accidentally celibate to somewhat intentionally celibate. This video is brought to you by Ethereal by Levitia, which is my luxury vegan hair and skincare company, really inspired by helping create self-love and self-care within self-care. Create self-love and self-care within everybody that comes into contact with one of my products. You can head to levitia.com and check it out and you will get a very exclusive 10% off coupon code if you sign up for our email blast, which is an inspirational email blast, so you'll love it. Now let's just dive into the celibacy journey. Y'all, the last time that I officially had sex was January. Am I proud that I had sex with one guy one week and then another guy a different week? No way. No way I'm not. That is so cringe. I'm so fucking proud. Like. First of all, these experiences were super spontaneous. I was not planning them. Um, but I did feel like I was really free but lenient during those times. Um, and I felt like specifically one of those partners that I had knew how I felt about sexual health and stuff like that. So the fact that like, I feel like they knew they wanted to like do something with me and like we didn't have that conversation, although we've had it before about other people and like, cause we were friends. Um, I think that between that and then my second sexual partner just, after the fact, I didn't feel like emotionally safe with them. And I thought I was um, until I like expressed these, like I literally like, I won't say love bomb, but I definitely expressed my feelings to them. And it was just not embarrassing. We're gonna get to that on my podcast though. And I'll give y'all way more details. I still have to say that ever since that experience, I then had one lesbian experience in April, um, which I will talk about in a separate video. But after that, I was celibate. And again, um, she was in a poly relationship and the whole conversation about testing came up and I just feel like when the conversation about testing comes up, it should be easy. And it is a turn off when it's not easy. When you're not like, yo, I'll go get tested tomorrow. Like, especially depending on where you are in the world. I mean, if we're in the same state, then it really is very easy to get tested here. So that is something that I feel like has really played a, played a major part in my celibacy journey. Now, I wasn't on this journey intentionally at first. It was literally accidental. Like I had those back to back sexual experiences. and was like, I'm liberated. And then I had the lesbian experience. It was like, I'm gay. And then after that, I was like, I'm paranoid and traumatized because why is everybody so scared to get tested? So at this point, um, I've also realized that I've been healing a lot of stuff when it comes to my dad, men in my family, and men in general. And even just recently, like I, I had to move some stuff from my storage unit. And there are two people, two men who continuously show up in my life, whether it be for emotional support, mental support, um, physical support in the aspect of not sex, but in the aspect of like, let's go for a fucking hike. Let's go j just, I don't know. I, we actually have one on hike. I go on hikes with both of them, but I still have to say that, um, I feel like they've just really shown me how I want men in my life to treat me and how I want to feel when I'm around these men. Like I, I feel so safe around these two guys. I don't feel safe around men in general. So that's really big for me. I say all that to say that I had a moment where I was like, Am I being discerning enough? Like, why am I giving so many people my time when I know that I am not emotionally invested in them? So I started getting asked out on dates, and I started, but I got asked out on dates, and the people that I used to think, like, oh, maybe, maybe, like, I should, and I just simply asked them, like, can you plan, like, what do you want to do? And they're like, I don't know, we can just chill. No, no. And old Atiyah would have been like, give them a chance, you never know. New Atiyah, we, I'm old. I'm older, I'm not, this is not 22 year old Atiyah anymore. And it's not even about age, it's more so just about self-respect. So yeah, we're done with the bare minimum kids. The self-esteem has risen. The self-worth has skyrocketed and we are no longer settling for the bare minimum, which leads me to the celibacy. I'm sure you can imagine I have so many men in my DM constantly trying to find ways to slither their little nasty dicks into my life. And so again, I, I kind of put a guard up and on top of that, I'm gay. I literally am on the spectrum 98% gay, 2% hetero, if I have to be that. I really want to say 2% bisexual because I'm not hetero. Um, but, or maybe I'm heteromantic, but I'm not. But I don't know, We're, that's enough time for a whole conversation for another video. I say all that to say, finding someone that I am attracted to enough and then someone who wants to get tested and then someone who makes the time to see me, I'm two out of three. We're, we're getting somewhere. Um, I found someone that I'm attracted to enough. I 
have had the conversation about getting tested and he was super, super, super open to it. Um, and I even provided him with like places where he could get tested. So I thought that was dope. He said that he would have asked me to get tested had I not just recently got tested. So I thought that was super, super amazing. Um, the only last part is just not so much finding time, but more so making the time because I'm super busy. I'm sure they're super busy, but it's just about feeling, I guess, prioritized in a way. Um, also not to put their business out there, but I'm pretty sure that they were sexually active more recently than I was. So. That's, um, I think that that's where like the lack of rush comes from as opposed to me. I feel like I have all of this new knowledge and I'm like, I want to give my pussy to you. Take it. I hope that that ends up being a sound on TikTok. I should make that a sound on TikTok. But with that being said, I'm just super grateful to have found somebody that I am actually attracted to. One thing I've learned though about my dating men is that it does not take a lot for me to become unattracted, which isn't fair, um, but it's my truth. And... I used to think it was more so physical things that happened, but I think that after a while, I I get so hyped and I get so into it and I put so much into it that I just lose lose the turn on because I've been turned on for so long. I can only stay turned on. I, I need to see an end goal there, you know? So now here I am waiting for nothing. Like I thought I was waiting for a sexual partner, but I'm not. And I, it's so crazy because literally the other day, I said to myself, like, I'm just going to stop fiending because I felt like I was really fiending for the person. And I was like, I'm literally just going to give it up. Um, and then literally last night, like, I want to say it was yesterday. So like yesterday, I was like, I'm just going to stop fiending, whatever. I'm done. I'm over it. Like, let's just fucking use sex toys uh, like on myself by myself, which I think was also very helpful. Um, but then that person hit me up that night. And I'm like, it's just so crazy how, don't you hate when you say like, you're done with somebody? Not even done, just like over a situation and then like they hit you up. I think it's just so crazy. But so now I'm right back in and I wanna fuck again. The difference this time though, is that I'm not waiting. As I said, like, oh, I don't know what I'm waiting for. Like, I'm not waiting for anything. Like I decided to take all of that energy and all of that romance that I had in my head and all of that freaky stuff and give it to myself. And it has been so liberating. I felt so beautiful. I felt so pretty. I felt so sexy liberated I have lost a lot of weight um and I feel like that took a toll on my confidence but I'm just feeling sexier I took some pictures of some sexy outfits the other day and that made me feel really good about myself so yeah I'm really doing what I need to do to fulfill myself um and just create a sexual relationship with myself or more so further my sexual relationship with myself because I feel like I really created that um probably when my mom bought me my first vibrator but I think that it's just come came in waves no pun intended and I've definitely when I have a partner, I focus more on sex with that person as opposed to sex with myself. So I'm super excited to continue this journey of intentional celibacy. Like I'm celibate, but like I'll still fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I? Like I'm a combination. I'm a fucking combination. So yeah, I'm really excited about this journey because I feel like I finally found resolve. And if I end up having sex with this person, then amazing. And like, I'm super excited about it. And it's not like it's totally okay and it wasn't meant to be, but I'm really trying not to force things and I'm really trying to just bring everything back around to me. So it's not a them thing, this is a me thing. Why am I feeding to have sex with them? Yes, I am turned on by them. Yes, they are just a very attractive human being and it's very hard for me to be attracted to men, but what is, what's making me fiend? What's making me have that yearn? And my friend, I'm going to end it on this note. Um, we were having a deep conversation the other day. And she said something about she feels like she had needy energy at one point. And I'm like, damn, that's me. I don't want to have that. So let me give myself everything that I need so that I am not feeling like this neediness. I hate feeling like I need something or someone. I will never say that I need someone. I'll never say that I need the dick. All right, let's think about that one for a second. And I really don't need the dick. I really don't. I survived 24 years without it. I'm okay. But intimacy. I don't need it. I won't die without it because I can give it to myself. So yes, I need intimacy, but I need it from any source, meaning myself or my cat included. And intimacy doesn't mean sex. Intimacy just means closeness and care to me and, and oneness. We should have to talk about what intimacy is to everybody. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm excited. But... That's my celibacy journey thus far. We're going on seven months strong, right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Hey, yeah, August will make seven, so <laughs> don't ask me to come over or anything because I'm trying to make my seven month mark. <laughs> All right, y'all, I love you so much. Please give yourself a hug for me. And kisses. Don't forget to be kind to yourself and to be kind to animals. I love you so much.